I'm Jarek Fleming, a 25 year old office worker. Today, I have a date with my girlfriend who I've been dating since college. Excuse me, I'd like to buy some flowers. Thanks for coming to our shop. What kind of flowers are you looking for? It's for my girlfriend. Do you have any flowers that have good floriography? Then, how about a margarita? Its floriography is true love. I bet you'll like it. Well, it's an ordinary day today. I'll keep it for another date. Hmm, I think Rose would be good too. But it's an ordinary date. Hmm, then how about a St. Paulia? It's floriography as I'm happy with you. Sounds good. I'd like to buy it. Thank you. I'll prepare it for you right away. With the bouquet I bought, I saw Tina Bolin, my fiance. Sorry for the wait. I didn't wait at all. What's that thing? I bought this from a flower shop on the way here. Beautiful, isn't it? Thanks. But my hands would be full with that during the date if I receive it now. Right. I'll carry it around. Let's go. I messed up a little bit. I'll do better next time. Several days later, I went to the flower shop again. Oh, hello. Did the date go well? Yeah, thanks to you. Well, I ended up carrying the bouquet around because I didn't want her hands to be full. Sorry. I should have suggested something that she could put on her chest. No, no. I wasn't mindful. I should have asked you to tell me more details. Uh, I'm not used to selling flowers by myself yet. You seem very experienced, though. I've been studying for a long time. We had a chat for a while. She's Mabel Anderson, close to my age. She told me that she started working at the shop recently and has been working hard to learn how to make great bouquets for customers. The gap between my dream and reality gets me sometimes, though. So, what can I help you with today? I'm gonna give my girlfriend a bouquet on her birthday. Could you make one that centers on this flower? Sounds good! Sure! Thanks! On the weekend, I was having dinner with Tina at a restaurant. Again, happy birthday! I'll cherish you from now on too. I'd like you to spend the rest of your life with me. Uh, What's wrong? I've been patient all the time. I'm disappointed. What? what do you mean? This restaurant is not fancy at all. I've been coming here since I was little. And the engagement ring you gave me. It has only one single jewel. It sucks. S sucks The bouquet is also crappy. This flower's floriography is true love. It's a bouquet of marguerite. They often use it at weddings. <laughs> true love, eh? Y yeah I don't want this. Huh? I started dating you because I heard you were from a rich family. But you're so plain. I'm disappointed in you. What do you mean by that? As she said, my grandpa is rich though. Maybe your grandfather doesn't love you. That's not true. He's equal to everyone. Equal? Then I'm done with you. What are you talking about? We should break up. I thought you were rich. If you're not, spending time with you is such a waste of time. Oh no. Forget about me. Find someone else. Well, no one would be happy with a crappy present like this though. They don't know how I returned home. I still had the bouquet that she didn't want in my hand. What's bad about being plain? Hey Jurek! How did the date go? Huh? What's wrong? She dumped me. She was after my money. Oh. It would never have worked out anyway. You can tell me. Actually, I told Mabel what happened today. So, this bouquet... I couldn't throw it out. Oh. I'm sorry, even though you made this for me. Could I keep the bouquet? But this flower's floriography is true love. Are you okay with that? 
I know that you bought this because you loved your girlfriend. This will make me happy. Um, uh, okay, here you go. Thank you. As I said, I'm happy that you gave me this bouquet. I bet the bouquet is also happy. Jurek, do you know when you'll be available next? Huh? I'm free on Sunday. What are we gonna do? Why don't we go on a date? A date? On Sunday, I'm going on a date with Mabel for some reason. Sorry for the wait. So beautiful. I stared at her since it was my first time seeing her in casual clothes. She looked very attractive. What's wrong? I was captivated by how beautiful you are. The floral decoration suits you. Thank you. Shall we? Oh, okay. I'd like to watch the sequel of an action movie playing in theaters. What do you think? Oh, that one. I wanted to watch that too. Good. I find it hard to go to a theater by myself. <laughs> I know what you mean. I used to go to the movies with my ex a lot. Oh, sorry. No prob. It's over. I should move on. After watching the movie, we talked about it while having a meal. That was really great! I never thought it'd end like that. They changed it from the original novel. That was good. You read the original novel? Yeah. The movie was the same as the novel for the most part. But I'm glad that they made some original scenes. I think the sequel would be... Wait! No spoiler! Oh, sorry. I'm curious about what will happen later in the story. Do you want me to borrow the novel? Hmm, let me think. I'm curious. I'll lend it whenever you want. You don't have to decide now. Well, would you lend me that? I'm really interested. Okay, I'll bring that next time. Why don't we watch the movie one more time? After I finish reading the novel? Sh sure. After we spent a lot of time talking about the movie, I asked her a question that I've been wanting to ask. By the way, what made you want to work at a flower shop? Is it because you love flowers? Yeah, and my mother raised me on her own while running flower shops. She's a single mother. How is she doing? She's been hospitalized. Maybe she's worked too hard. I took over her company. Oh. I want her to rest assured as soon as possible. I see. I studied business management to help her before, while working as an office clerk at a big company. I didn't know that. That's why you said you weren't used to working at the flower shop. I only studied before, but I thought I should work at the shop in person if I took over the shop. You're great. I didn't know her circumstances. Would there be anything I can help her with? Um, I have a favor to ask of you. What's that? Could you... Uh, visit my mother at the hospital with me? Huh? I want her to rest assured. I've never had a boyfriend. I think she will be rest assured if I tell her I have a boyfriend. Could you pretend we're a couple? Um... Please? Sh sure. Okay, let's go see your mother. Thank you! We headed to the hospital. Mom, how are you? Oh, Mabel. Thanks for visiting me. How's the shop? It's going well. I've learned a lot. My company has developed enough to have multiple shops, but working face-to-face -face with customers is important. I know. I made a bouquet for a man the other day, but it didn't work out. Ugh, his girlfriend didn't like that. You should listen well to customers. Our shops can go without them. I will study hard. Who is this gentleman? He's my boyfriend. He's very supportive of me for working as a shop. Nice to see you. I'm Jurek Fleming. Oh, when did you two? Just recently. I can't tell her we decided to pretend we're a couple today. 
After I got hospitalized? Are you sure? Maybe he's trying to take over my company. N no I'm serious about her. List things you like about her. First, she listens well to me. She makes me relax. She's down to earth for the most part, but can be clumsy and cute when she lets her guard down. She's into fashion, but she puts up with plain clothes at work. Oh, w wait! Tell me the rest later. I never thought he'd say that many things. Thanks. I'm happy that you two get along. Oh, I'm sorry that I rambled on. I'm also sorry for suspecting you. I was overly wary since I had to make Mabel take over my company all of a sudden. I think I can leave her to you. Mom? Well, I'm gonna be discharged soon. I feel like I've recovered. Sounds great. I'll get to see my grandchild. Th that's too early. She seemed energetic. Sorry, she was excited. Don't worry, I'm glad if I helped you. Um, if it's not too much for you, could you see my mother again? I can see her on the weekends. I'm free. Thank you. Zen, I'd like you to see her next weekend too. We started going out every weekend. We visited her mother, watched that movie again after she read the original novel, bought new clothes. I happily spent my days with her. However, there was this one thing on my mind. Mabel... Why don't we make a bouquet of marguerite together this time? Together? The bouquet I bought the other day was for someone else. It kinda annoys me. Why don't we go to a flower shop together? Are you sure? I'm sure. If a dense guy like me is good enough for you. You're not dense. Sure, we can do that. Several months later. The movie was really great! I feel like rewatching the series when I return home. Zan, let's watch it together. I return home with Mabel, and then I heard a familiar voice. Oh, Jurek. Tina, what are you doing here? I thought I'd get back together with you. What are you talking about? After I broke up, I realized you were actually rich. You could have shown that more visually. Huh? I found out that the restaurant we went to that day was members only, and the food there was expensive. It was your birthday. I wanted to celebrate that at a fancy restaurant. And the engagement ring. The material was actually great. You said you were allergic to metal. I don't know about the flowers, though. That has some sort of meaning, right? I explained. You didn't listen to me. Anyway, I gave it a thought. I think we can get back together. Uh. Enough! We're talking. Stay out of this. I mean, who the hell are you? She's Mabel, my girlfriend. Huh? Are you kidding me? You were seeing me until recently. He was really depressed on the day you dumped him. Even though he seemed really happy in the morning. I was blind. My grandfather told me to carefully choose who to date. I never thought you'd like to get back together with me after dumping me. You two deceived me! You cheated on me! You dumped me! Yeah, now he has me. He doesn't need you anymore. You cheater! Cut the shit. I never cheated on you. If you want, we can take this to the court. You're the one who selfishly broke off our engagement! Oh no! The court? I said if you want. I need you to leave. Okay. Hey, before you leave, do you know Marguerite's flower floriography? No. It's true love. You threw out the bouquet. Was it true that day? That day, yeah. But I already gave that to her. Okay, so... It's too late, eh? Yeah. I'm never gonna get back together with you. Huh. <sighs> I was able to say everything I wanted to say in person. I feel so great. I'm glad that you got mad for me. I feel like that's what's been on my mind vanished now. Come to think of it, you bought her an engagement ring. Why don't we buy one on the weekend? Are you sure? 
Of course I am. Would you take the ring? I'm so happy. I'll cherish it forever. When someone liked your present, it makes you happy. Have you ever given your family or lover a special present? Leave your story in the comment section.